So let's try and get through this one as quick as possible. I'm actually in the process of making a very good video. It will be out tomorrow and then I came across this information whilst taking a break. I saw a video by Rudy9 here, a subscriber of mine and he's been putting out some work, especially alongside with the work I've been putting in my third album, the final Jigsaw playlist. If you want to go look at that, well, this is his channel here if anybody wants to go check it and he's just recently yesterday made a video on the site known as Artemis a temple as they name everything and I was blown away with what the images he's shown him wasn't quite sure what he was looking at he just knew it was very very important and it is important well I've got about 12 minutes worth here if I speak about 20 minutes on each image so there's quite a bit I've found overnight so we'll get on with it. So these first two images here are the only ones that I've screenshotted from his particular video and if you look at the top left one you know when I've got into mounds across the world were mostly domed, collapsed domed roofs buried in silt or ash volcanic ash events if you notice how they spiral into a center beam don't forget archaeologists have also been here but you can see how every, every, everything gets thinner towards the center like this was some type of arch dome right and this is an image well this is will be the furthest one away that we're going to see on this side it's known as Artemis. But I've also got a progression. I think I've lined them, lined them up exactly perfectly for you uh, as they were found during excav excavation and then what they look like today. They, those images will be a bit later on. Main thing what we're looking at here is just how buried these site was. The main thing that I am trying to point out during this video is the fact that there are no foundations, no pouring of concrete to rest these huge megaton pillars onto and all these walls. You've got to pour foundations to rest this stuff on to keep it stable, right? So there must, there must be only excavating higher floors and staircases and that's why they were all collapsed all over the place, right? And if you, you, will, you will see it at the end when I show you the modern photos or the latest excavation that they decided to excavate in the centre about 10 feet because they realised or someone realised that there must have been much more buried than there is walls and, and the roof to sit on right if you don't do the site will just collapse in weeks and as you can see at the back look every single mound here will be the rest of this city, it's an entire city. This just happened to be the tallest, the most grandest within this area, that's all, that's why they've excavated it. They could excavate the entire area. Anyway, this is that image where they've decided to dig down even further during the centre, because again, there's no pouring of concrete for foundations, so there has to be a lot more buried. Correct? Yes, correct. Anyway, for those in the megalithic team and mainstream magic, this is actually what it takes lift walls and, and the roof to sit on. Right, if you don't do the site, we'll just collapse in weeks.
at first I thought that they had put this back together badly with the two pillars that's higher than the rest and then decided it was too much of a job and then just put the rest together like that but no I think that was probably part of some staircase it will have been a higher staircase because there's no concrete foundation below these things that's a lot lower down uh, this one here you see these square holes they're not nubs everyone talks about what these nubs are I will get to that one day obviously we can't throw a blanket over everything but I, I can answer at least 80 percent of what the nubs are soon enough well these holes that seem to be around every single circular block section I can't say for sure if they were caused by the reconstruction of this where when they were lifting them into place they needed somewhere to grip or if it's something ancient if it is ancient then it's something to do with what they layered in you know like a forks granite spray some type of enamel something that they could stick in there like something metal a banding that came out of it and then they could layer it so it just didn't fall off you get me but it could be modern so I will now leave you with some of the best images you will ever come across upon this site. You will find it very hard, very hard to find anything on this site, especially these old images of this quality and size. And I can tell you that if anybody is able to find any of these, they will say that everything I'm going to show you now over, over the next minute or so, they call it rock cut all these decorations somebody has taken an old tool and they have been able to carve intricate designs here that a cnc machine would have trouble not breaking it can you imagine chipping away at something like this a huge block and making one single mistake what would you do with it it's obviously some sort of smearing some you know something it's not carved is it is it hell? Right, I'll leave you with these. So just like the piece that we're looking at here, the lion's head I just showed you does appear to have been fixed to a board. And then it was fixed to it, right? And then our text over this piece here, I'm not even sure if it's original. Because the writings are different sizes and up and down, squiggly all over the place. You look at everything else in this site and it's absolutely spectacular and perfect.
Anyway, if you've never hit me up on PayPal before and you want to contribute something, no matter how big or small, you can do it on my homepage. Those of you that have, thank you very much.